Hello, my name is Abby and welcome back to the Space Exploration Agency. After the successful landing of the Moonbase rover, it's now time to land the first habitat module at the construction site of the new Moonbase. In this case, I can now undock from the supply ship, switch SAS back on and switch to the correct spacecraft. Alright, now I can use RTS to drift away from the supply ship. Very good. Now I like to shut down the four engines of my lander as I like to use the old upper stage for the deorbit burn. And speaking of the deorbit burn, we are approaching the landing site and so I like to set up a maneuver that will allow us to directly land at the construction site of the new moon base. Okay, like so. This is looking quite promising. All right, this is good. And the maneuver is coming up in 10 seconds. All right, so I need to rotate the spacecraft around. And easy. Okay, here we go. The power descent has begun. We are now about to land the first habitat module of the new moon base. That's cool. That's really exciting. Wow. Okay, let's cut the engine. How are we doing? Yeah, we are. We are on a very good trajectory. That's good. Um, maybe I need to burn this way. Let me just see. Yeah, this is good. All right, this is much better. Now I think I'm on a very good trajectory to land at the construction site of the new moon base. We are 85 kilometers away from it. That's good. Okay, now I like to go back to surface mode. And yeah, I think I will use the old. Will I jettison it right now? How much fuel is left in here? Yeah, I think I can use the old upper stage to slow our lateral velocity down and then I have to jettison it and do the rest of the power descent with the engines of my lander and okay when I stage then I should activate the engines again. This is good. That's very good. Okay. Yeah maybe I should execute the burn from the map view as I like to make sure that the spent upper stage will not impact next to the new moon base. This would be a little bit dangerous. So okay, we are on a very good approach. Only 50 kilometers away from the construction site. Oh wow, this is really exciting. I'm very excited about this. I hope I can once again land very close to the construction site. This would be amazing because I don't want to uh, transport this habitat module with my moon base rover over a long distance. It would be good if I can land within 100 meters or so, but we will see. We will see. Only 30 kilometers away from it. Very good. Looking good, looking really good. Okay. I don't want to start too early with my burn. And yeah, I think I can now start with a burn. Good. Very good. Okay, we are getting wobbly a bit. That's not good. So let's cut it here. And let's say jettison, okay, and the engines. Why aren't the engines? Okay, activate engine. No, no, not not gimbal limit. Oh dear. Um, shut down, okay. Activate and activate. Okay, all four engines are activated. And now we are getting closer to the landing site. The lander is quite powerful with those four engines. So, okay, let's throttle up a bit more. I'm still quite high, which is not good. Okay, now I can start to reduce my lateral velocity. Very good. 
I might overshoot by a bit or let's yeah maybe I will overshoot just a little bit but I hope we can fix this okay break it break it okay good now I can start to fly back a bit break it okay yeah there goes the spent upper stage thank you so much for your service maybe I should have set the base as my target okay maybe I'm now directly above it so let's cancel out the lateral velocity again very good and now we are going straight down this is good yeah this is very good okay um does it help when i say moon base rover set as target okay um yeah it's hopefully more or less directly below us that's good now i need to keep an eye on my descent rate okay let's start to reduce the descent rate and okay now i can deploy the landing struts very good okay we do have a shadow easy easy very good, very good. Okay, don't come to a hover. Please continue with your descent. Very good, very good. Okay. Easy. Good. Good, good. Easy, 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 easy. And a soft landing. Very good, very good. Okay, 132 meters away from the rover. That's okay-ish. Um, or do I like to fly over there? How we're doing on fuel? Um, I do have plenty of fuel left. So at first I need to fix this. Can I get a little bit closer to this? Could be possible because it's easier to transport the habitat module with the lander than with the rover. So, um yeah let's let's give it a try okay so we are flying again now i like to fly this way good don't gain too much altitude all right we are still descending this is not good okay easy 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 okay now I like to slow down okay easy 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 would you easy Ooh. now we have some okay I hope the struts are still okay Okay, okay, easy, 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 okay. Yep, come, come to stop, come to stop. Good, 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 good. Whew, wow, this was, this was intense. This was intense indeed. But yeah, we have plenty of fuel left. And now I have parked the habitat module only 20 meters away from the rover. Wow, this was really a close call. I am glad that the landing struts are still wheel stress are still intact that's good okay they are still intact very nice and so how can i or better when can i leave the surface again so the supply ship mark 5 is over there and the 
Oh, the fuel delivery is at 30 kilometers. Huh. I wanted to rendezvous with it, but well, this might be not that problematic. Maybe I should wait until the fuel delivery is somewhere over here. Then I can launch into a 10 kilometer orbit. And as I'm on a lower trajectory, I will catch up with it. And then I can reduce its altitude so that it can rendezvous with my lander. Yeah, I think this is the the way to go. Then of course there's the challenge of of undocking and flying away. So this is all the time risky, but I hope it will be a success. I really hope it will be a success. Um, but I think this will take some time until the fuel delivery is in the right position. So I think we can return to the space center and launch the second habitat module. Yeah, I think this sounds like a good plan. So let's do this. To the launch patch. And now I like to launch the immune base habitat launch. Indeed. I like to launch this vessel. Okay. I'm using once again my standard space launch system. This is an incredible, useful and versatile booster. It was responsible for the successful construction of the Minmus space station and now it's helping us to construct the moon base. And that's cool. That's really cool. So, okay. Everything is ready for liftoff. And so, three. Two, one, and lift off. Wow, what an amazing and powerful lift off of my standard space launch system. This thing is really amazing. I'm so happy I have this booster available. And yeah, I can now begin with my gravity turn. And as this booster can easily lift a habitat module, I am currently thinking about launching the remaining two habitat modules in a single launch. Well, I think I need to evaluate this idea and I need to check if it's really possible to launch both habitat modules at once as this would greatly reduce the construction costs of the immune base and it would also make the construction process of the immune base a little bit more streamlined but on the other hand I need to be sure that I can fly both modules out to the moon and okay we are already at 10 kilometers altitude this thing is really amazing soon the SRBs will finish their job indeed so I can throttle up and goodbye thank you so much for your help and now I can turn over to the 45 degree marker very good Okay, we are on a good way to space. That's fantastic, that's amazing. 20 kilometers. How are we doing? We have already an apoapsis of 43 kilometers, that's good. We are on a very good route to space and also to the moon. And oh, we can start some uh, to see some compression heating. This booster is really powerful, okay. I have reached the 30 kilometer mark and now I like to turn over to the 25 degree marker on the nav ball. Yeah, 71 kilometers for the apoapsis. So maybe 20 degrees because I like to increase this arc as much as possible and gain as much speed as possible before I will reach the 100 kilometer apoapsis and stop. All right, this is looking good. This is looking perfect. Very nice. This was a fantastic launch. Okay, now I can set up the orbit insertion maneuver. Very good. Just a bit more. 101 by 103. All right, that's perfect. Very good. 
down there's Kerbal Space Center and all the time I'm so amazed when I can look back to Kerbal Space Center and I realize how far I have already flown after the liftoff. This is fantastic. And okay, we are in space and this means I can now jettison the fairing. Goodbye fairing. Wow, this is cool. This is really fantastic. Okay, there are the second habitat module. That's cool. That's fantastic. And we are still one minute and 40 seconds away from the apoapsis so I can do a quick time warp to get closer to it. And I need to make sure that I don't insert the central core booster into an orbit. This would be really problematic as I like to see the thing falling back into the atmosphere. And wow, well, goodbye Kerbal Space Center. So here we go. Let's begin with the orbit insertion burn. All right. I need to keep an eye on my velocity because around 2200 meters per second I will have reached orbital velocity and this is then too fast because then the booster will be in space, which is bad. Not sure if it will run out of fuel before this happens. So easy and stop it here. All right, now I can jettison it. Get and stage. Now I can finalize the orbit insertion burn. Okay, there's the periapsis. And stop. So 95 by 114. All right, it's a little bit eccentric, but still good enough. And the moon is over there. Do I have an inclination? 0.2, all right. So about no inclination, I think I can go for an orbit insertion burn. Uh, for a transmuter burn right away. Okay, let's see. Okay, um, can I get this a little bit closer? Like so. Good. 78 kilometers. Eight, okay, that's too low. 82, okay, it's a little bit finicky. But I think we will get there, 57, 46, 8, okay, 45, okay, let's let's just go for 45, this is good enough. And um, yeah, now it's time to extend the panels so that this spacecraft will not run out of electric charge throughout its mission, very good. Okay, good, so the burn is coming up in five minutes. It's a 52 seconds burn apparently. So I can start about 30 seconds before I reach that node. Okay, this is really a very efficient mission. That's good. And I'm so happy that the first habitat module is now on the surface of the moon and that I was able to transport this with the um, lander, so that it's now very, very close to the... Oh, um, no, I was so happy that I managed to land it that close to the... to the construction site that I completely missed the... burn, but yeah, okay, the moon is rising, so it's now the perfect moment to begin the burn, very good. And yeah, the second habitat module is on its way out to the moon. And how we are doing on fuel. This is this is now interesting. This is important to know because when I like to launch two habitat modules at once, I need to be sure that I do have enough fuel to fly this thing out to the moon. And so far it's looking good. Yeah, I think we have plenty of fuel. So it might be doable to launch the two remaining habitat modules in a single launch. This would be cool. This would be really fantastic. And stop it here. So how are we doing? We are having a counter with the moon. Okay, 66, 30. Yeah, let's, let's go for 30. This is good. And about no inclination, 0.1. This is perfect. Okay, that's amazing. So the next module is on its way to the moon and now I like to focus the view on the moon and the fuel delivery is over there. Okay, so moon base habitat launch. This is the right spacecraft. 
Okay, everything is still... Still okay. I'm, I'm still a little bit worried about the moment when I will undock or decouple. Because, um, yeah, I'm not quite sure if then the engines will shut off again or what will happen. I really hope I'm then in control of the land and not in control of the of the habitat module because in the end I have to switch to the rover and to the um, well to the central core module before I can reach this and in the meantime this thing flips over or so this would be bad. Huh. Okay I hope this will work out somehow. Now I can wait that the fuel delivery is yeah somewhere over here. Okay, this is good. So... Hmm, how to do this? Maybe the same way as I did with the landing of the rover. Throttle up and then hit the undock button. Okay, um, yeah, let's risk this. So, three, two, one. No, 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 no. Oh dear, oh dear, that's bad, that's bad. Um, uh, okay, okay. Um, yeah, yeah, let me, let me. Okay, here we go, here we go. This is good, this is good. Oh dear, this was close. This was very close. All right, we are flying, we are flying. So, uh, but yeah, um, 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 where is it? Control from here. All right, all right, this is good. So, um, yeah, now let's head towards east and throttle up a bit. Good. Very good. Whoo, wow. This was exciting. This was exciting indeed. Oh dear. Okay, now I need to aim for my 10 kilometer apoapsis. Apoapsis, 7 kilometers, 8, 9, 10, and stop. Okay, very good. Now, I need to set up a maneuver node for the orbit insertion burn. And, um... Yeah, can I... Hmm. Yeah, maybe like so, because I like to have this angle, this inclination as low as possible. But yeah, I think this is good. 14 by... 11, okay, a um, bit much, 13 by 11, 11 by 11, all right, this is good, this is perfect. So, we are now on a good way back into an orbit around the moon, this is fantastic, I can now switch over to orbit mode, and yeah, the habitat module is now down there, the central core module is down there, and the moon base rover is down there, this is good. And now I like to, well, I think I can do a quick time warp. All right. So let's do this. Can I see somewhere some markers or so? No, not really. Okay. So apparently the other spacecraft are already out of range and Stop. Okay, how I, how am I doing? 14 by 7. Okay, this is good. I'm flying toward the epilepsis so I can raise my periapsis over there. That's good. And um, I like to... Okay, the fuel delivery is in an inclined orbit as well. So maybe I will set the moon base rover lander as my target for the change in the inclination but first I need to well I think I can fix the inclination and raise the periapsis in the same burn this should be no problem so let's add a maneuver over here and descending node so this way 0.6 so too much 0 0.5 0 0.4 0 0.3 0 0.1 okay very good Periapsis is at 7 kilometers. Oh no, epoapsis and 14 by 14. All right, this is perfect. 
Good, good. I'm happy with this. I'm really happy with this. So the maneuver is coming up in uh, nine minutes. Okay. Good. Oh, down there was something. Maybe this was the moon base rover lander or so. Target. No, no, no. I don't need this. Um, yeah, I think it was the moon base rover lander. All right. And now I can rotate the spacecraft around. Yeah, um, it's all the time a little bit weird when I undock from the from the module I landed on the surface of the moon because then for some reason the engines shut off and um, everything is totally weird. It was facing the well, the knife ball was turned the wrong way, and so I'm not quite sure what all the time is going on in the moment. I deploy the the payload but yeah at least it worked out somehow and uh, we are now back in an orbit and the thing is still down there so this was good and yeah now I like to switch over to the fuel delivery because now I like to rendezvous it with the lander so the lander is moon base habitat launch probe interesting um, this is now my target and um, we do have a 2.5 degree inclination over there. It will be ahead of me. Okay, where do I need to do a burn to rendezvous with it? Okay. Wait, what? Okay, somewhere around here, apparently. Okay, um, it's the next orbit. That, that's fine, that's fine. I'm happy with this, because then I can focus on changing the inclination first. That's good. So, and I can do this in the daylight. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, now I like to fix the inclination. Oh, no inclination, that's good. So, 15 minutes to go. Let's do this. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, sunshine, two, one, curb and rise. Okay, we're almost there. Let's turn this gigantic thing around. Break it. Okay, I'm not quite sure how long it will take to complete this burn. I think I will start 10 seconds before the maneuver node. As I just have those two nukes. Okay. They can do this burn in a good amount of time. This is good. Okay. And stop. Yeah. Point one. This is good. Okay, there. I will be still ahead of it. Okay, that's good. So where can I do the burn to rendezvous with it? Somewhere? Oh, a rendezvous in the daylight. This would be fantastic. 500 meters. All right. And that's cool. So coming up in 37 minutes. Can I? No, no, no. I don't want to close this. I want to uh, warp to next maneuver. Indeed. This is what I like to do. I hope it will warp to the right maneuver. And not overshoot again. Okay, down there is the landing site. That's good. Kerbin. Alright. The old moon base. Okay. Getting closer. And we have arrived. So I'm already in target mode. Can I see? Okay, I think my target is over there. 40 kilometers away from us. All right, very good. And it's a very short burn. This is good. So I can do another time warp. All right. 
Okay. And stop. 800 meters, wow, that's perfect, cool. And it will be in the daylight, this is also amazing. So coming up in 15 minutes. So let's add a maneuver over here as a marker. Very good. Okay. There is the moon base lander. Getting closer. One minute, easy. Okay, um... I need to make sure that I can arrive as close as possible. So let's rotate this thing around over here. Okay, let's do this. Good. Good, and stop. Now I will be 100 meters away in 1 minute and 40 seconds. Okay, this is good. This is very good. Okay. Four hundred meter, three hundred. Easy, two hundred. Okay. Now I like to kill the relative velocity. Perform some station keeping. Okay, very good. Very good. And easy. Yeah, as the nukes aren't so powerful, I can control the the, the relative velocity very accurately. That's good. Okay, now I like to turn toward the target to make it a little bit easier to dock to it. Okay, like so. And now I can switch over to this spacecraft and I like to say that this is my target, very good. So docking mode, how much fuel do we have left? Oh, we have plenty of fuel left, this is good. Okay, um, this mode. Let's aim at the target, very good. Okay. So, we are in a good way to dock to the fuel delivery and to refuel our fuel tanks to get ready for the landing of the second habitat module and in the meantime I think I should also um, dock the moon base rover lander to uh, this refueling stage so that it can be also used in case that I can indeed launch both that I can indeed launch both remaining habitat modules at once. This would be good when I then have two landers available. All right, easy, easy. Looking good, looking good. We're almost there. Okay, easy, 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 easy. And we are docked, very good. Okay, now I can, well, go back to staging mode and begin with the refueling process. So I can select all the fuel tanks and this fuel tank and say out and out. Okay, I think this will take a while. And so I can already start to say, I hope you have enjoyed this and I hope you will be joining me in the next episode when we will hopefully land the second habitat module of the moon base or maybe we will launch the first crew of the moon base that can then observe and monitor the construction of the moon base. We will see what will happen next. This was an exciting episode. It was nice to land the next module on the surface of the moon and to transport it with the moon base lander. So yeah, 
As I said, I hope you have enjoyed it and I hope you will be joining me in the next episode. Until then, my name is Abby. See you!